Indonesia is heavily dependent on agriculture. Problem is, many youths just aren't interested in doing farming. But my friend here, he begs to differ. Hi, my name is William and I'm a millennial farmer. At 22 years old, William has a degree in business. He even got a pilot's license. But for the past year, he took on farming with a modern twist. That's right. This is a hydroponic fruit and vegetable farm. He does not use any soil. Instead, he uses rock wool and cocoa peats. And instead of hoses, the whole plantation sits on running water systems fed by a million miles of piping. Well, not exactly a million, but you get the idea. <laughs> and we believe also, hydroponic is much healthier and it can produce the healthier products in the supermarket. Mm hmm look at all those fresh and bright colors. When vegetables usually take more than one month to be ready, with hydroponic, it only takes a few weeks. Melons like these usually take up to three months to be fully grown. But this method makes it ready in just about two months. It saves space. And the best part is, you can eat it straight away. It's 100% pesticide free. At least a dozen products are made in his eight greenhouses. These are his most prized fruits, the Japanese hajime and amai melons. And there are also vegetables like bok choy, lettuce, water spinach, and many more. But of course, there's a catch. An efficient system like this comes at a cost. So if hydroponic is much better, why doesn't everybody just do this? Because hydroponic is expensive. For example, if we need to build the, the greenhouse for a thousand meters, it needs about 500 million to do it. And for the operational cost for two months, it needs about 30 to 40 million rupiah. Being a young farmer also comes with its own skepticisms. So to be honest, my dad thought it was a joke about this business opportunity, but Look at me now. I mean, yeah, for, for example, I built this greenhouse and I started about a year until now. And I can prove to my parents that I can do this business. It all started with the joy in growing plants of how it creates calmness at heart. So at first, I started hydroponic for fun, for my hobbies. But as time passed, I saw a business opportunity to do this hydroponic thing. I believe in the future, hydroponic is one of the methods that we'll use in agriculture. With no background in farming, William spent half a year scouring the internet and seminars for the most sustainable methods and success. He now delivers to 15 outlets in Jakarta and Tangram, with a whole lot more coming. And with a strike of luck, he hopes to break even the business in about three years. One thing William holds dearly is, of course, never bring bad vibes to your greens. I think it's about connection and bond between me and the melons. So we have to take care of these melons like our child. <laughs> we got you. And a little side note we get from William. So my tips for young businessmen outside, you have to start it now, I guess. Because you have to be brave to do something or create something new like like me.